Netflix's hit romance drama Virgin River has left fans craving for more. And with no official news on when season four will drop, we might just have to find other shows to help us cope with the temporary loss. But fret not, since for today's episodes, we've made a list of shows like Virgin River fans need to be watching. So stick around until the end, since we've got several shows just for you. Starting today's list of suggestions is NBC's American American drama This Is Us. The show follows the story of the parents of two families, the Pearsons and their children during the different stages of their lives. Virgin River's very own Alexandra Breckenridge also plays a recurring role in this series, where she stars alongside Milo Ventimiglia, Mandy Moore, Chrissy Metz, Sterling K. Brown, Chris Sullivan, and Justin Hartley, among many others. Compared to Virgin River, This Is Us has a much more serious tone. The tackles a lot of sensitive topics, ranging from grief to addiction, and growing up as a black kid with white foster parents. The show premiered in September 2016 and ran for six seasons, with the final currently on air. So you could still make it to the series finale if you start binge-watching it now. This Is Us is available for streaming on Amazon Prime. Next on the list, we have the fantasy romance drama Outlander, starring Katrina Balf and Sam Hugan. It tells the story of Claire Randall, a former British Army nurse who served during the Second World War and got magically transported to 1743, where she finds her life in danger, where she marries Jamie Fraser, a member of the clan Fraser of Lovett. The series is a hit among romance fanatics and currently has five seasons, with season six set to debut on March 6 this year. And if you manage to watch the show in one go and feel that you need more, you could always read the books from where it's based by Diana Gabaldon. Another book adaptation that was serialized lately is Netflix's Sweet Magnolias, which is based on the romance novels of the same name by Cheryl Woods. Sweet Magnolias is one of Netflix's newer dramas, which premiered in May 2020. Like Outlander, the series is based on a novel series and follows the story of three South Carolina women, best friends since childhood, as they shepherd each other through the complexities of romance, career, and family. The series stars Joanna Garcia Swisher, Brooke Elliott, and Heather Headley in the lead roles as Maddie, Dana, and Helen, respectively. The second season just dropped earlier this February, so it's a pretty easy watch. And if you feel like you need more, you could always read the books to get ahead of the series. Another novel series that's adapted into the small screen is Chesapeake Shores, which is also authored by Cheryl Wood. The story follows Abby O'Brien, a divorced mother with two daughters, who returns to the small town of Chesapeake Shores, Maryland, to help save her sister's inn from foreclosure. Watching this show greatly reminds us of Virgin River, seeing how both of the protagonists relocate to another location, but in Abby's case, she goes back home, whereas Mel moves to a brand new place in Virgin River. But both heroines are also presented with new opportunities to find love, and in Abby's case, her first love from 16 years ago, Trace. You can watch Chesapeake Shores on the Hallmark Channel, where the show has five seasons. Next up, Heart of Dixie. The CW is known for producing a lot of hit TV series, whether it be romance, action, or comedy. And one of its hit comedy dramas that you should check out is Heart of Dixie. Those who have watched this show will probably describe Heart of Dixie as a funnier and funnier sibling of Virgin River, since it has a lot of similarities. For starters, Rachel, the lead character of the show, is also a medical professional like Mel, and she also relocated to a small suburban town where the local doctor has no use for her. Funnily enough, the doctor in this series is played by the actor Tim Matheson, who also portrays a doctor in Virgin River. Like Mel, Rachel also found mutual romantic interest in a hunk of a bartender, but what's a love story without a love triangle, right? So there's also a hot lawyer who's also taken an interest in Rachel. Unfortunately, Heart of Dixie only has four seasons since it was canceled by The CW in May 2015. Now we have Call the Midwife 
Another aspect of Virgin River that drew a lot of viewers is the show's medical aspect about Mel's line of work, which adds to the drama and appeal of the series. BBC's period drama called The Midwife is another show you should jot down on your watch list, since it also tackles a lot of social, economic, and cultural issues into the subplots that follow the day-to-day -day lives of a group of nurses who work as midwives, working in the East End of London as they navigate through life, career, and romance during the late 1950s and 1960s. Continuing with the list, we have another show that follows the same plotline as Virgin River, a medical professional that relocates to a small suburban town, looking for a new place to start, which is exactly what Everwood is. The series revolves around Dr. Andrew Andy Brown, a widower who leaves his job as a neurosurgeon in New York to live in a small Colorado town, along with his nine-year-old daughter Delia and 15-year-old son Ephraim, in an attempt to build a better relationship with his children and work on rebuilding his life. Everwood is praised for its family drama, which will surely warm your hearts, so you better get those tissues ready. If you think you've watched pretty much everything on this list, then you might as well start watching the classics, namely Gilmore Girls. This classic hit comedy drama debuted way back in 2000 and ran for seven seasons, starring Lauren Graham and Alexis Bledel. Gilmore Girls was one of the pioneer romance shows that popularized small suburban town setting with the usual episode dilemma that's resolved at the end of each episode. Of course, there's also the flannel-wearing romance interest in a push-pull situation. Gilmore Girls is an easy watch for anyone and everyone, especially if you're a big fan of Virgin River. The series has seven seasons and is available for streaming on Netflix, so you should definitely check it out sometime. Another small-town setting series that makes it to today's list is the Canadian family drama Northern Rescue. The series is led by William Baldwin as John West, a search-and-rescue widower who uproots all three of his children from their Boston residence to his small hometown of Turtle Island Bay after the untimely death of his wife. By relocating, the whole family hopes to embrace a new start, but each of them is heavily affected by the tragedy and is coping in their own ways, and healing doesn't come as easy, with secrets being kept and revealed. So far, Northern Rescue only has one season, which premiered back in 2019, and it's unclear if the series will continue its production. But it's safe to say that if you're looking for a short watch that somewhat reminds you of Virgin River, then you should give Northern Rescue a try. Today's list has a lot of shows that are based on novel series, and the next one is no different although it has a different setting from Virgin River. Heartland is a Canadian drama that depicts ranch life and follows the story of the Fleming Bartlett clan through their family drama as they go about the highs and lows of ranch life. It takes place in the fictional town of Hudson, Alberta, and is also the longest-running one-hour scripted drama in Canadian television history, consisting of 15 seasons. Up next, we have another recent Netflix drama that debuted last February 2021, titled Firefly Lane. It follows the story of two girls, Tully Hart and Kate Malarkey, teenage best friends during the 1970s through their early adulthood in the early 2000s, and tells the story of their friendship through the years as they navigate through family, growth, and later on career and their own families and issues. The show stars Katherine Heigl as Tully and Sarah Chalk as Kate. They're also joined by Ben Lawson, Bo Garrett, and Yale Yerman. It has only one season for now, but the series was renewed for a second season, set to be released sometime this year. Finally, last but not least, one show you should definitely try watching is the Canadian TV sitcom Schitt's Creek. It follows the Rose family as they relocate to the small remote town of Schitt's Creek in Ontario to rebuild their lives. Seeing how the family tackle the problem problems thrown their way, while also coming to terms with each other and their situation is a delight
delight to watch. Schitt's Creek has six seasons that are available for streaming on Netflix. And with that, we're wrapping up today's episode about the list of shows like Virgin River that fans need to watch. Which ones will you watch first? Have you watched any of the shows we listed down? Let us know in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.